Welcome back, party people. We're here once again. Um, this time it's a Monday, April 12th, I believe. And yeah, we're here with an overdue Stimmy haul. So I ordered these about a month ago. So happy Stimmy for those that received it. Now I'm doing a little haul from playboy.com. Oh yes. Um, yeah, this was kind of like a whim, sort of, uh, definitely frivolous purchase. Like I have no need for these things. They're just like a superficial want and a little bit of an impulsive buy. So what had happened was <laughs> I originally went to playboy.com for like smoking accessories, but then I realized too many smoking accessories i need to chill but there was other stuff that caught my eye so actually i'm gonna save this one Oops. i'm gonna save this one for last because fun story came in two shipments three things in total and the main thing that i was excited for of course was the one that got misrouted by usps so it ended up going from los angeles to Detroit, to Canada, back to Illinois, and then now it's here. It was a long haul, but we'll get to that package in a second, and I'll discuss that a little bit more. Here we go. Here we go, the moment of truth. Okay. Sorry. Oh, 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 yes. Look at that packing list. Look at that packing list. Cute. Item one. Ooh, voila. Item two. Cool. All right. Item one is something that kind of everybody needs at the moment. So I don't feel too bad for it being a frivolous purchase. It's a mask. It's like a stitched together poster. Playboy vintage look. Filio, Delio. Um, this is actually the first mask I've ever bought. I've been lucky enough to not have to buy a mask. Either somebody has, you know, handmade them. My sister and my friend make masks or I've just been gifted masks. So this is actually the first mask that I have ever bought. Let's check it out. Actually, why the fuck? It feels huge. It feels humongous. But let's fix that. Probably because, yeah. Oh wow, it's still pretty big. Okay, so this is like for a man's face, I'm guessing. This feels huge on me, to be honest. Like, especially if I have my glasses on. All right, so my chin ends here. <laughs> and there's all this left. So if you're a man, or you're just a size XL. This is gonna be great. <laughs> I mean, I do love the design. It feels like really soft. It even has like a pocket here. You could probably stick a filter in. And I'm just, I'm just feeling the vintage nostalgic design. So yeah, um, I don't feel too bad about this one, even though it is a little bit big now that I try it on. That's okay though. This next item. Ooh, you know what that means, jewelry. So I figured that these were probably gonna be whatever quality, but let's have a look. These are the gold Playboy hoop. There's only one size. One size fits all. Mm. Yeah, and it's um, the keys. So for those of you that are not familiar, um, there were key holders. You know, that was like the whole thing with Playboy. You had to be a key holder in order to be a Playboy. <laughs> or like, I, I know I'm explaining that horribly, but it was all about the key club. You had to have the key to the Playboy club to get in and be a Playboy. I watched the Netflix series on Playboy. So that's how I know that I'm explaining it really, really horribly, but 
you know, look it up. This is cool. And then it matches. I, I have an actual key. Playboy key. Oops. Yay. Just kidding. Yay, yay. This is an actual key that I got made. This is actually from the Goodworth, though. This is not part of the Goodworth collection. But, you know, now I got one for my ear ski. Let's try her on, and then I'll explain more about this third piece of the package. Ho, 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 ho. Here we freaking go. Compared to, the, this would be a medium in my eyes. This is like a medium sized hoop. This, it's actually pretty large. And the key, she dangles. She Lieutenant dangles. Ooh, that's kind of heavy. I have stretched ears, so this is how it looks. Oh, I'm breaking out right here, don't look. But you get what I mean? Interesting. Well, let's put on this other one. So yeah, the third piece of the pie here that I'm about to open went all around the world, nah, yeah, yeah, without me. But luckily, um, I did reach out to Playboy customer service when I realized like this package was taking way too long. And according to the tracking, it was going everywhere but here. And again, I'm in Southern California. This originated from Los Angeles, so it shouldn't have taken very long to get here. But... Yeah, I found out it was misrouted when I emailed the good folks at Playboy. Ooh, I don't know how to... Very, very... Statement. <laughs> I'm making a statement, y'all. I got the keys. Follow the rabbit. Um, yeah, so I realized... This package was misrouted, hit up Playboy. Luckily, they were very quick to respond, so that kind of changed my attitude towards it. What the heck? I'm just realizing that this has Spencer's on it. Like, you know, the store Spencer's in the mall. This is the earrings. My boy, you telling me I could have got these at Spencer's? The price on these was 17 bucks, which I know for like something like this, it's just costume jewelry though. It's like just something fun. Like I'm just, I've never seen these. And I said, F it. Anyways, back to my very long drawn out story. Yeah. Email Playboy, they were on top of it. Um, they just told me it got misrouted to look out for it. Another two weeks went by and there was radio silence. The tracking was not updated at all. It was still in Canada for this two week period. So I hit him up again, said, hey, you know, there's no movement on this. It hasn't been for two weeks in my past experience. It's not a good sign from USPS. So, you know, can I get a replacement? Will a refund be necessary? And again, they were very on top of it. <gasps> Oh my God, they sent me the wrong shirt after all of that. This is totally the wrong shirt, bro. What? Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. This is not the shirt. I mean, it's cute. It's the Japanese Playboy bunny head logo, but this is not it. <laughs> I could tell this is just a regular t-shirt. Mine was the women's cropped long sleeve, and I could tell because it's the wrong colorway. The one that I ordered, totally different colorway. So, damn it, Playboy. I had so many good things to say about you. This is so anticlimactic. So I waited a whole month to get this order back, and it's the wrong order. I'm about to email them right now. Peace, I'll let you know how it goes. Update to follow. Update. <laughs> so I just opened the package just to see maybe if it was the same shirt, just different design. And sure enough, it is a long sleeve crop top. I got a size medium. Um, I'm wondering if it's gonna shrink. If not, it's cool. However, yeah, this colorway is all off, my boys. This is supposed to be red, 
and blue is black and white, which is cool. I mean, like, it's cool, but it's not what I ordered. Like, the thing is, there wasn't even an option for this colorway. There's only one colorway, and it was tight. So that's why I got it. Why? 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 <laughs> I don't understand, like, I mean, maybe they stopped making it, but that's literally the only option that was on there. I'm very confused. So now we're gonna try it on. I'm just like, I feel very plain in the face. Um, this is post work, post dog walk, you know. Um, I was just excited to get this package. All right, y'all, what do we think? What do we think? The whole point of me buying that shirt in that colorway was that I'm supposed to be getting away from wearing so much black. Um, you know, it's springtime. But, I don't know. I did already write to Playboy. <laughs> I, I really just like, took pictures and sent Playboy an email. Before I opened it, so in the picture, it's like, the, the shirt is still packaged. So that's why I opened it, just to see if it was a cropped thing thing. Oh, already, already, okay. Grandma, come say hi. Oh, here she is. Wait, oh, actually, I don't want you to hit this girl. Here, this is... Rem says hello. Hello. Or Rem. Hello.